God is deeply concerned about our well-being, our future, and also how we choose to spend our time in this world as God's children. He knows the right person for us. He knows the right person who will help us complete the purpose he has for us on this earth while also ensuring that we do not go lost. The quality of your marriage on earth is vital in determining whether or not you will make it to paradise. If you're with the wrong person, it'll take a lot of God's love and help to get you to heaven since you've signed your name to your own damnation by marrying the wrong person. This is exactly what happened to Samson. He chased the wrong lady a foreign woman despite God's instructions and warnings. And as a result, he met a tragic end. So being with the wrong person at the wrong moment isn't an option. Trying to ignore the signs and writing on the wall is no longer an option. You can't ignore the voice of God telling you to terminate that relationship. You may have taken the difficult decision to terminate the relationship and let go of the person you once adore. But maybe on the other hand you are always thinking about the person. You haven't done anything wrong. It's just because you've been in love with that person for a long time and it's expected. But when you allow the soul link to obstruct your decision-making process, to keep you from entering the right relationship, or keep you from embracing the right person God has placed in your way, then you've made a mistake. You must put the past behind you and go on with your life. You must keep going forward in time with your life. Accept the circumstances. Return to God. Ask for his forgiveness and believe that he will guide you in finding the right person for you. Because of your insensitivity and carelessness, you most likely missed it. But thanks to his mercy, you were able to make your way back to him and he concluded that it was essential to correct your life partner decision and to ensure that you break up and start again. Thank God that you didn't become engaged with the wrong person throughout your wanderings. You would have had a miserable existence if God hadn't intervened and spared you in time since marriage is a lifelong commitment that lasts till death do you part. Thank God for his mercy and for saving you in the nick of time. That is one of the reasons he is an excellent dad. Only a caring father would uphold you when you have gone astray. He's taken care of everything for you. He has been present throughout the entire process from start to finish. Trust in his guidance. Let go completely and ask God to show you the perfect person for your life. So what do you do when you can't stop thinking about the person God doesn't want you with? It's evident that you haven't moved on and you've chosen to keep feeding and entertaining the beast in question. You should call it quit on your romance. You must refresh your thinking on God and God's things on a daily and consistent basis. What you focus your attention on will play out in your mind. What you think over and over again during the day will continue to play out in your mind even while you sleep. You must stop bringing that idea into your thoughts if you want to quit thinking about that person. You must accept the fact that it has been destroyed and that nothing can bring it back to life. Most likely you're examining the circumstance and weighing different choices for dealing with it. And it's because of this that you've been unable to stop thinking about that person. And evaluations like these put a stop to it being entertained. Accepting that it has been broken by God and that nothing will come between you two in the form of union or marriage again is one of the greatest ways to deal with it. You should also accept inside yourself that it has been broken for the best and that going your own ways would serve a larger cause. God is not indicating that a certain individual is evil or harmful. It's just that you and the person weren't made to be together in the first place. It's crucial to understand that just as he used a bone from Adam to create Eve, He's also used a bone from you to create your own wife. In the same manner, he's made something out of a guy's bone someplace out there. Only via that person will you be able to accomplish everything God has planned for you. Make sure you don't make the same error again. Another thing you should do if you're stuck in your thoughts and thinking about someone God has advised you to break up with is to seek God's face and communicate with the proper persons. Because you haven't met the person God has in mind for you at this moment, you're probably still thinking about your past relationship. Assuming you have met the right person God has prepared for you, you will most likely notice that this person is better and more connected to you than the person who left. And you will also discover that you can do God's work more effectively and efficiently with the person God has prepared for you and that you have accepted as your partner. Accept him because he has good intents and ideas for you. And don't worry if you haven't seen the right person God has for you yet. But if you have met the person, make friends with them and focus on getting to know yourself better. 
If you accomplished this, you'd be on the right road and you'd nearly certainly obtain incredible results. You may increase your chances of success by getting to know one another and determining how effectively you can work together. Accept that the person God has chosen for you is the finest possible match for you and you will not live to regret it. You can never get it wrong with God. You can never discover anguish with God. All that he does lasts forever and will offer you peace and joy for all of eternity. If you're still having problems thinking about someone God has told you to break up with, you should get rid of anything in your house that reminds you of them. This would include text messages, photographs and social media exchanges as well as stopping to visit places you frequented with that person during the relationship. You should also know that signals from other people have the capacity to make us remember and miss someone. When our thoughts have been perverted in such a way that we recall every single detail and action we have made without thinking about it. To avoid this, you must delete any L texts you may have received from the person, since the messages may serve as a reminder of what occurred at the time you got them. Also, delete all photographs of the person, both those you took together and those they took alone. Or you can devise a way to recreate the beautiful old days you shared with them. If you can't get rid of them right away, place them somewhere out of reach so you don't run across them again until you've gotten over them. Stop going over these images and those messages in your thoughts over and again. It's also vital for you to stop going to places where you've previously been with that person. Keep your distance from those regions. When it's time to pay a visit, go with the person God has taught and shown you to be the best person for you. It's not a good idea to go there alone. Keep being with your newfound love. That's how you silence the person's ideas and stop thinking about them. When you continue to think about and linger over the past, then it means you have spent far too much time thinking about what God has warned you not to do. It's possible that you'll get to a point when you'll defy God's commands just to see what happens. It's conceivable he won't extend his arms in an attempt to destroy you. However, in order to save your precious time and life, you must put a stop to such pessimistic thoughts. It's past time to let go completely. It's time to get back to doing God's work and finding the right person for you. God has never made a mistake. We were to blame for making mistakes and starting a relationship with the wrong individual. Accept what God has done and you will definitely find peace, happiness and long life. Hallelujah.